For the past 10 years, the catamarans of the Extreme Sailing Series have been showcasing all that's great about the world of sailing. The fast, furious, action-packed racing is a far cry from what many would perceive as a typical day out on the water. This year's series takes in eight ports around the globe, including San Diego, USA, Changdao, China, and Los Cabos in Mexico. For the second year in a row, the opening round of racing took place around the stunning waters of Oman's capital, Muscat. The series defending champion is Elingi, which is co-skippered by Arnaud Sarofagis. Last year was, was fantastic. It's, this year is a new year, new teams, new helmsmen on, on many boats, so it's, uh, it's going to be a new challenge. And uh, I mean, the goal is, is the same, is try to win back to back uh, the series and uh, we're going to start, uh, start as, as, as well as we can and we, we're pushing from the beginning and uh, I mean it's a long season. One of Alinghi's principal challenges here was likely to be home entry Oman Air. The team has a new and highly experienced skipper in New Zealand's world match racing champion Phil Robertson. Having started their season by winning the GC32 championships, Oman Air was looking to improve on last year's second place in Muscat. We had a fantastic week last week and especially for a new team it was a big boost to come out of the blocks hard and fast and then make sure we sealed the deal with the, at the end of the regatta when it was close. So yeah, we're in a good position and for sure we know we're going to have to work extremely hard this week to keep up near the top of the podium. Day one of racing took place a few miles down the coast from the dockside near Muscat's old town of Mutra. Surrounded by imposing cliffs, it offered a perfect backdrop for the series start. Danish flagged SAP Extreme Sailing were the day's surprise package, catching the best breeze and winning three of the seven races to lead at the close of day one, with Red Bull sailing just a single point behind. As the wind dropped over the next two days, the teams raced closer to the shoreline of Al Muj golf course. Despite light winds, the sailing program was unaffected, with the boat's low weight enabling them to pick up sufficient speed for some close racing. Oman Air and SAP swapped the lead on a number of occasions over the two days. Oman Air's bowman is Nasser Al Mashari. You're sailing and racing here on home waters, in front of friends, family and children, which is huge. You can hear their cheering and their excitement. So it's great, because the support gives you a real lift. It's fantastic to sail here in Oman. Going into the final day, only one point separated the two leading boats. Co-skipper and tactician on SAP Extreme Sailing, Rasmus Kostner was confident they could see off the GC32 champions and claim victory on Oman Air's home patch. Today is going to be a really important day yeah, for us to maintain the, the lead. There's a lot of pressure from Oman Air and from Alinghi. We felt that uh, we had a good edge on uh, some of the other teams uh, for the reaching and for the downwind, so we'll try and keep that up. Let's see, it's gonna be a full-on day today. It's extremely tight at the top, and I mean, you can't really plan for that. You can't plan for how to, how to attack it, and we just gotta keep doing what we do best and trying to sail as fast as possible. With 25 knots of wind on the course, the boats hit speeds of 31 knots. Even for the most experienced of sailors, the GC32s can be a real handful, as Red Bull sailing found to their cost. SAP Extreme Sailing excelled in the testing conditions. A second place in the final race of the day was enough to win the series opening round. 
we're over the moon. There's a uh, very tight regatta the whole way through with us, Saman and Alingi. And um, to have a breezy last day where, with uh, some good waves in the race course, where it really came down to good boat work and sailing the boat fast, we're very, uh, very pleased to be able to come away with a win. Alinghi and Oman Air finished on the same points total, but Alinghi took second in the event thanks to their greater number of wins. The Extreme Sailing Series next heads to Qingdao in China, where SAP will look to extend its lead over the two former champions.